So somebody invited me out today, which is amazing and everything. And I said yes, only to realize that today I work a nine and a half hour shift, which is not one of the most ideal situations to go out after. I mean, mind you, tomorrow I go in at one o'clock, is it? I go in at one o'clock tomorrow, so when you think about the time that I go in tomorrow, it's not that bad because even if I do go out, I will have time to sleep in and to like pretty much recover if I drink a lot tonight. But it's just like this almost 10 hour shift is gonna kick my ass so bad. I'm gonna be so tired after. Do I really wanna go out after? And the more I think about it, I'm just like, no. And this is the first time she like, that's my friend. It's the first time she asked me to go anywhere with her. And then her birthday is Monday. And she was saying that she didn't really have anything planned. And then this party came up and she wanted to go. Now it's close to my house. So that's not bad. But it's just, what do I do? Go home later and sleep a little bit first and then go? Or I just don't know. I feel like in my head, I don't see it making any sense because I know I worked such a long shift today. Because I'm just going to be beat after this shift. So I just can't see it. But I don't want to bail on her either. But bro, if you're tired. So... I'm gonna text her today and say, yo, I just realized I work an almost 10 hour shift today. So chances are I might not be able to make it and like just see how I feel later on after work. If I'm still able, I'll go, but if not, I don't know. And then I wanted to get the shoes too. I should have bought it on like Black Friday or whatever to get some coins off, but I haven't bought it yet, which means it's not here. And all the stuff I bought from Fashion Nova, I mean, I have clothes to wear, but all the stuff I bought from Fashion Nova, um, the nice dresses that I wanted that shoes to wear with. Am I gonna have time today to swing by a mall after work to go get shoes? No, I don't even know if I wanna do that to myself as much as I like a no pair of shoes. It's just rough out here, man. And I haven't gone anywhere in a while. The last time I went somewhere was Thanksgiving day. And that wasn't really like a party or anything. It was Thanksgiving with like family or whatever. So I'd like to go to not disappoint my friend, but then it's just like, damn. After later, I'm probably gonna feel like shit. I dressed super comfortable so that, um, you know, the shift is already gonna kick my ass enough. But what I don't wanna do is be uncomfortable, especially since I'm on my goddamn period, which is not so bad, I'm not gonna lie. But still, so I dress super comfortable, um, comfortable shoes, a really relaxed um, long sleeve t-shirt, and um, some okay jeans. But damn, this is just, and when my supervisor was making the shift, she was like, Janine, um, how was last week's shift? And I'm like, it was good. But um, that one day with the nine hours and then, you know, she ex she explained it, which I feel like I kind of understood before she explained it because it's Friday and our busiest days are the weekends, but still, bro, that don't mean the day don't get my ass. So I was kind of telling her, you know, shave an hour off of today and put one on yesterday <laughs> and shave one more off and put it on tomorrow. So that would have meant that today I would come in at what's that now 10 30 11 30 12 30 yesterday I would have gone in at 1 30 what time did I go in yesterday I don't even remember two o'clock no 
Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I'm in shambles just because the shift is so long. But she was gonna shave two hours off of today, is what I was trying to have her do. Put one on tomorrow and put one on yesterday. And then she's like, you know, it's Friday. And I'm like, okay, I get it. But bro, the shift is really about to bust my ass. God damn. Anyways, I'm almost there, so I'm about to go. I'll see what I do later. Hey!